One dollar for boost of philandra? That's right. Stick around and find out how. Hey YouTube, this is Tom with TM Aquatics bringing you a quick video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. I spent a couple hours today at the Minnesota Aquarium Society annual show and swap meet. And I went up there not necessarily for the show, although there were some beautiful fish and some beautiful aquascaped aquariums on display there. I went up there for the swap meet part of it. There were a lot of uh, local hobbyists, local uh, small aquarium businesses, as well as some of the larger corporate uh, folks like Rapashi and Swiss Tropicals. But uh, I went up there looking for some deals, and I scored a couple, I think, and uh, walked away very happy. But just going to kind of go through, show you what I picked up today. Uh, the first thing that I got, I picked up two of these. These are just a, a shrimp poster, and these were free. Uh, one gentleman at his booth was handing these out, and uh, thought those would look real nice, uh, put in a nice poster frame, and hung in my fish room. Like I said, I picked, out, picked up two. I'll probably just frame one, keep the other for uh, future use. But that was the first thing that I got. And then we'll just kind of go through the uh, bag of goodies here. Show you what else we picked up. Got uh, kind of a nice cool looking piece of uh, spider wood. And this can be set up. Let me actually get rid of that poster a little bit in the way there, but um, been looking for some spider wood. This has so many little branches. There's so many ways that you can set this in the tank. And, um, you know, I paid $16 for this piece. And I've seen them uh, go for quite a bit more than that. But I just thought this one was kind of neat and uh, would fit in a uh, 20 long. Perfect. I might actually end up putting it in the um, 20 high over here. But uh, real happy with that piece. And then... I did get a second piece, and this was, I think uh, they ended up charging me like five bucks for this, just a small, just a small piece. They had some larger pieces, but I'm just looking for some small pieces for my uh, 20 longs and a uh, couple of 20 highs, but just picked up these two. Um, now I kind of regret that I didn't pick up any more. These were the best deal of the day for me. Got a couple of uh, nice Pleco Caves here. These are a perfect size for, uh, you know, the smaller high pan cistrus like I have and even the L134s, but uh, these were four bucks a piece. thought that was a great price because I think uh, plecocaves.com sells those same sizes and that's that might even be where these came from. But uh, they sell them for like five bucks, but then you got to pay ten bucks to ship them. So it actually goes up quite a bit in price. Um, and then... I picked up a couple of these. Uh, young gentleman was there. He's got his own uh, business starting up, aquascaping business, and uh, he's got a buddy that does 3D printing. So he makes these little uh, shelves that get suction cupped into the back of your tank, and then you put your Java moss or Java fern or whatever on there, and it keeps it up off the substrate. And uh, just thought those would be real nice. But unfortunately, I picked these up right at the end of the, sh the show or the swap meet portion. And I wanted like three or four of these here. These were five bucks a piece. These were four bucks. But I liked the half circle and I wanted, uh, wanted one or a couple of these in each one of my shrimp tanks. So I could try some different mosses and be able to raise them up and down on the, on the back to find the optimal distance from the light. I got a couple of those and then I picked up a ton of Bucephalandra and there was a guy from California who came up here for the show or for the swap meet portion and he was selling all kinds of Bucephalandra and uh, he had you know full baggies full of you know for 30 35 bucks of uh, single species boosts but then he had a bunch of various bags. You could go in and pick out your own stems and kind of mix and match. And they were uh, 10 for a dollar. Or no, 
10 for $10. So in each one of these bags, there's 10 different types of boosts and one rhizome uh, per boost. And, you know, some of them are, you know, pretty nice and have some, you know, a lot of, lot of leaves on there. But for a dollar, you know, that's a nice, nice chunk of uh, Busa Philandra. I can't tell you the different types of boosts that are in these bags. I know there's uh, purple, there's one like the tricolor, I know there's one called brown, there's a, a wavy leaf, but for 20 bucks I figured I'd grab a couple of uh, bags and then he gave me a couple extras uh, at no cost, which is kind of nice. Um, I've never tried Busa Philandra, but I definitely wanted some in my shrimp tanks. And then I have four pieces of Anubius Nana Petite. These actually might be micro, I'm not sure, but there were a few people selling this stuff at um, at the swap meet. You know, and these have, this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 leaves on it. A lot of guys charge like a buck a leaf. So the guy had four of these and uh, he kind of had them off to the side and nobody was even inquiring about them. And, I picked up all four of those Nana Petites for, what did I get these for, $13? I think these were for $12 or $13. And then that same guy had a couple nice chunks of Busa Philandra. These I paid a little bit more for than from the other guy because these were much bigger pieces with a lot of really nice leaves on them. And I think these ran me 10 bucks they were five bucks a piece or were they six bucks anyways for the uh dana petite and the busa philandra it was like 24 dollars or something but uh real satisfied and real happy with those but um yeah so picked up some nice little plants busa philandra some uh anubius uh nana petite some spider wood a couple of nice pleco caves and then these little sucky things so I'm going to actually start uh, getting some of this stuff actually floating and in the tanks and uh, do a little work on my shrimp tanks, but just wanted to share that with you. I know it would not It would be a lot more exciting if I would have had some footage from the actual show and swap meet, but um, yeah, that's my bad. But anyways, folks, I'm going to cut it right there. Hope everyone else is having a fantastic day. Support your local aquarium clubs. Go to the shows. Go to the swap meets. You get some really good deals there. And, um, you know, there were guys selling fish, wild caught epistogrammas, African cichlids, caradina shrimp, neocaradina shrimp, fish foods, filters, all kinds of stuff there at your local swap meets. So, anyways, uh, support your local aquarium clubs, get involved, uh, do some networking, and score yourself some nice deals. But, anyways, appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Hit the like button on your way out. And... Like, like always, folks, until the next one, we'll catch you all later.